Hi Scorpio, how are you? It is me, Lauren B. Welcome to the Untitled Tarot. We're gonna do a special little spread for you this week, Scorpio. I'm calling it a uh, growing your gifts spread, a, your spiritual journey, some kind of very cliche title, something like that. The, the whole idea around this spread is uh, it's to teach a man to fish so to speak, right? Um, we're always looking externally to ourselves for guidance, for confirmation, for validation, that it's um, important to me to also um, try and help you build up your own skills in terms of growing your intuition, really what like your aptitude, your strengths are in terms of your spiritual journey, your growth, where maybe some of your blind spots are, where we can kind of do some spiritual push-ups and, and see how we can help um, really uh, bolster your process for you. So that is what we're going to do for you this week. I really hope this is helpful to you. I really hope that you enjoy it. Thank you for being here with me. We are going to use the Tarot of the Old Path for you this week. Let's pray. Let's pray, Scorpio. Father God, thank you for being here with me and my Scorpios today. I ask that you give me wisdom, clarity, and discernment to deliver these messages accurately. I ask that you bless and cover these cards. We love you. We praise you in all of our seasons to the utmost high. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, Scorpio. So, you feel a little agitated. Not going to lie. I, uh, I asked if it was just me. If it was just like me that was feeling agitated. Because I wasn't feeling agitated like a few hours ago. I was feeling like real like mushy gushy like I watched a Disney movie I was like la, la, la. and then all of a sudden I started kind of like thinking about Scorpio sitting in Scorpio getting ready to do your spread and I just started getting really like agitated and I have this song that's popping up in my head it's that song here I am rock you like a hurricane it's like that. It's like, I don't know if you are expecting like some kind of tower moment or if you feel like there's like a lot of interference. It actually does feel like there's like a little bit of interference going on around you. Um, almost like you're, you're fixing to have like an upgrade of some sorts. Um, maybe you've gotten a word about that. Um, and normally like a word is always followed by some kind of like interference, some kind of opposition, something to like steal your upgrade from you. This smoke is like really in my face. Again, it's like you're catching the smoke. It's like you're catching the, the smoke, Scorpio. Something in that. Um, and I think it's putting you a little bit on the, I don't know if it's like a, on the defensive. It feels more like an offense, right? It's kind of like your, your guards are a little bit up. Um, which isn't always a bad thing, but if you if you sit too much in that energy, it can kind of like jam up your energy a little bit and then make it harder for you to get your downloads and stuff. It feels like something's messing with your sleep too. Something's messing with your sleep. Um, almost like sometimes I'll get a lot of personal anecdotes this week um, in, in these spreads. I get like, I call it like sandwiched messages while I sleep sometimes where um, I'll have like six dreams six different dreams in a night and i'll get like a revelation kind of dream from the lord and then i'll get like a dream that's trying to mess with me and then like a dream from the lord and like a dream that's trying to mess with me and in between i'll get like woken up a lot in the middle of the night to kind of try and nip nip those like janky dreams like kind of in the butt i feel like something's maybe like messing with your sleep a little bit so maybe you're just like also like a little bit tired too like and, and that's making you a little crappy like this is making you a little crappy you feel a little bit like a cancer um the 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 cups cards the Queen of Cups, the King of Cups, the Seven of Cups, the Eight of Cups. Those were coming up in your pre-shuffle as well. So I want to look a little bit at your general energy. I want to take your temperature. See how my little baby Scorpios are feeling. The Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is out. So feeling, feeling a little fired up. Um, if I do believe we are in Sagittarius season, the moon is in leo i think venus is an aries there's like a lot of fire going on today it's saturday while i'm filming this so you guys are really feeling a little fired up you're feeling creative definitely feeling like a little bit defensive too because you know what i'm noticing too in this ace of rods never comes through but it looks almost like a little barren kind of like the the sierra desert right like very very hot but this one ace of wands right this one thing is the only thing in this whole picture that basically has life in it and then you have this butterfly which represents transformation almost like tr attracted like magnetically to you so in an environment where um perhaps there is no like you're not surrounded by a lot of spiritual people. That's not really a thing your family does. It's not really a thing your friends are into, right? Out of out of all of these barren places, hmm, 
separate out of all of these barren places it's like you're kind of like the sprig or the spring of life and so that's transformation is like magnetically attracted to you right now scorpio justice okay so this is part of your general energy so i think one part of the offensive feeling that you're feeling maybe you're actually offended maybe somebody offended you maybe somebody to told you that you were like a loony tune or something because you were like i'm on a spiritual journey and they're like we're gonna lock you up in a loony bin maybe there's something like that a little bit um but there is an air of justice again this transformation being attracted you see how this almost kind of mirrors this it's just much bigger in the spiritual before it comes down into the natural for you there is a, an energy of balancing kind of surrounding you almost seeing like a hawk or something kind of like surrounding you almost creating like a barrier trying to create like a shield or a little bit of a barrier around you but you do have balancing on the brain balance on the brain it's a little bit of that energy of um I think you know there maybe have been some sacrifices, some bad habits, maybe some people, maybe some distance you had to put between you and, and the old Scorpio. And in that, I think you know that sooner or later, like the tides kind of have to turn for you, kind of uh, uh, are due for this upgrade, for, for this um, strengthening in your connection to your intuition, right? Also, um, the, the uh, recuperation of, of things that were lost, things that had to be sacrificed in order for you to kind of get where you are now eight of swords yeah exactly confirming that kind of a lot of things that you had to sort of turn your back on the eight of swords is normally a, a card where mentally you're really like tying yourself up but in this deck this is really again creating that barrier creating that shield around yourself turning your back being cloaked in the yellow right here talking about confident being confident that you are making the right choices in the things that you've had to sacrifice and the swords represent also logic as well like right like logically like i'm not going to be able to to go on my walk if i'm still participating in these things or if i'm still engaging in toxic relationships or behaviors that i know aren't good for me right it, it is a lot of that as well and the colors all mirror each other as well do you see it's like all the yellow, all the yellow, all the yellow, the red, the red, the green, green, green. Which again talks about your heart chakra, your solar plexus, and your base, the things that you're rooted to. So let's look at your strengths. Let's look at some of your spiritual strengths right now, Scorp. Do you know, it's so funny. I have on a green shirt. I just realized, and I have on red lipstick. That's so funny. I just realized that. Huh. So a part of your strengths is you have the 10 of pentacles in reverse. Now, what this is saying to me is that you've really kind of separated yourself from a little bit of like the natural world. One of your strengths is that your, um, your spiritual growth, like the prospering of your soul is more important to you than the physical, right? Than how much money you're making or what your life looks like to other people you're not doing so much of that compare and contrast with others it's more important that you feel good that you feel connected to something that's bigger than you are right than to kind of just like scroll through flip through filter through life with like the rest of the muggles i keep using muggles all week for like the asleep people i don't know if it's offensive but it's just the way it keeps coming through for me somebody mentioned that to me in in my waking life they were like why do you keep saying muggles like you can't have jesus and harry potter in the same in the same boat and i'm like i could do whatever i want that's my business but it's a little bit like that right it's a little bit of the part of your spiritual strength right now is that your spirituality is more important to you than um what it looks like than what your life looks like to other people it's it's um it's very independent it's a very independent now you have the high priest as well this represents the higher font in this deck now the high priest um it usually represents like god the almighty um but it also represents structures institutions organization right sort of that ladder that ladder as well that again part of one of your strengths right now is again not doing the compare and contrast with anyone else's journey allowing yourself not to feel as though you're you're supposed to be climbing certain steps the same way as other people and also um again that independent spirit that you have of not being forcing yourself into a box with like a bunch of the yoga people or like forcing yourself in a pew with the really religious people and i forget i maybe it was libra with this justice card maybe it was libra that had a very similar 
message as well that it's um kind of doing it your own way like getting your hands dirty just like allowing yourself to go through your process sort of as you see fit um but it's really just like more of what feels right to you more what feels right to you my nose it, it's almost like I want to sneeze there's something about on the nose on the nose there's something about your senses too as your senses are getting heightened I think you're also picking up one of your strengths right now is that you're you're picking up intuitive hits in different areas it's not just like auditory it's not just like visual through meditations it's also through like body like a lot of there's like physical stuff too like I think you're able to tell if you have like a blockage like an energy blockage somewhere by like if you're sore in a certain area right if like all of a sudden like your lower back really hurts you're like oh I might have like a sacral blockage I might have something to do with like abandonment or rejection or sexual frustration or something like that right there's you know what I mean if like your shoulders like my shoulders all of a sudden feel like kind of sore and it's like oh maybe like you're you're carrying a lot like on your back right that like monkey on your back maybe it's like a bad habit or taking on too much of other people's burdens or other people's opinions right or um a lot of times like in my readings I don't know if you, I'm sure you guys notice but I'm always like yeah yeah it's like charades like I know when I'm kind of on target on message because like my nose will start itching my nose will start itching and that's very common it's a very common thing among uh oracles spiritualists psychics prophets what, whatever you know however you want to slice it and dice it something like that or like my ear will start going like this when it's like you're close you're close it's like there's little like physical intuitive hits um other than again like I said um something like audibly that's like coming through in your mind or visually through like sights and meditation I think that's part of your strengths too is your senses are being heightened in different areas in different areas now you also have the five of swords the five of swords and this is being able to kind of pick your battles pick your battles as well it's also not being not being afraid of a fight again that's sort of like offensive because the five of swords is usually like after the fight is done and everybody's sort of picking up their pieces their the rest of their weapons their limbs right it's a little bit of that uh kill bill when uh okay okay when um <laughs> Uma Thurman gets through with the crazy 88 she tells everybody they that they can leave but um I don't, why is this coming through it's so funny but um to leave the limbs that she cut off because they belong to her now right it, it's a little bit of like that the five of swords that's how it comes through for me personally but it also comes through as like not being afraid not being afraid to stay in the battle not being afraid because he's still charged for me it doesn't look like he's charging away from the fight it looks like while everyone else is fleeing he's going like back in to fight like one more good fight fight one more good fight and I've actually never noticed this in this card before but his stockings there's almost like a little cross on his thigh right which for me indicates like kind of like spiritual battles at the same time it's like knowing um like when something's like messing with you I don't know if that makes sense right when you're like you're feeling really good and like you're like okay yeah I'm having a good day like I feel like my energy's good I feel like my energy's clear I'm like feeling pretty positive like I'm feeling pretty hopeful and then all of a sudden like that air comes in and you're just like I'm just really fucking annoyed now you know and it's like now this is a problem now that's a problem now I just stub my toe it's like almost being able to ascertain like when when like a weird energy is coming in to sort of like trip you up off of your game and being able to like snap back right what well, I'm hearing that Mac Miller song I'm um, be like fuck you what you need you can't get nothing from me you was talking shit now I'm somebody you would love to weird you guys are weird today you're Scorpio though and then you also have nine of swords <laughs> you have nine of swords again maybe it's like a Teflon it's like an energy of Teflon part of even if you feel like something's messing with you the nine of swords is, oft is oftentimes like I said like just disrupted sleep schedules nightmares anxiety paranoia sorrow like up in the middle of the night staring at the ceiling why me why me it's a little bit of that energy this is being able to pull yourself out of it be like a little bit again like teflon like do you know something's just trying to mess with me because I know like something real good's fixing to happen for me like I know that I'm about to get this new burst of energy creativity I know justice is coming in for me whatever I lost whatever I had to sacrifice to like get where I am right I know that it's due to come back to me I know I had to turn my back on a lot of things but I know that it's due to come back to me because you know um life is a pendulum it always has to swing back sooner or later to the other side I think that's part of this ten of pentacles in reverse and your strengths too knowing that like anything materially that you had to sacrifice and lose in order to because you know like there have been times personal anecdote time like there were um maybe like a month or so ago there were like private parties that I had booked too that energetically like God was like you you can't do these right now like you're in a death process like you are not a-okay to be like interacting with that many people's energy it was like right before I took my break and I was like yeah but like 
for sure I need like money like I, I have to work right and he was like for sure I'll be your provision like don't worry about it like it's more important that you like take care of yourself spiritually and energetically and emotionally and I was like okay so I did that and in the long run he was right because I was completely burnt out and I couldn't have I couldn't have done it anyway that's when I ended up taking my break a couple weeks ago um and this is a little bit of what I'm pulling with the ten of pentacles too like not worrying so much about like the natural how it looks to other people what you can kind of gain just allowing yourself to go through your process without putting yourself in a box without putting yourself in a box so let's look at your weaknesses <laughs> page page of rods page of rods little impulsive I'm getting a little bit impulsive pages are also um they're they're younger energies they're younger energies so there is something about again that little bit of that like defensiveness that like mac miller like fuck you what you mean right it's a little bit of that like um you can't mess with me right and it's good to like feel confident in your abilities and like be able to like let things roll off your shoulder if you feel like an energy is messing with you but there is like an energy of like impulsiveness too and impulsiveness too like almost forgetting that like you're a David you're not a Goliath like you don't have to be like the biggest baddest most badass right like it doesn't mean that like you're still not powerful it doesn't mean that you're still not powerful there there is something in that in terms of like your trigger moments your trigger moments perhaps some of thank you perhaps some of the reason why you not comparing and contrasting to other people their journeys also not keeping yourself in um spiritual boxes right that's a really good thing but i think part of the reason that perhaps you're doing it without realizing it is um if you don't put yourself like in a certain community all the way whether it's spiritualist whether it's religious people whether it's the galactic people whatever it is right then you don't have to compete then you don't have to compare because perhaps there is like a little bit of a maturity issue there where it's like you do your own thing because it feels right but also then you don't have to compare or compete with anyone else and then if you don't have to compare or compete with anyone else then there isn't a chance of you falling short and then feeling insecure so it's like there is it, the dolphin spirit right like this and that are true so it's like some of it is like good and helpful um but maybe some of like the backstory unconsciously of why you do that um is a little bit um because it's coming up in your blind spots is something that's holding you back a little bit almost like keeping yourself i think um separate from maybe some of the community that you need maybe if you if you integrated yourself in a little bit more of a community in like a healthy way right don't buy nikes and start drinking kool-aid but in, in, incorporated yourself a little bit in a in more of a community maybe made more friends in the spiritual community wherever it is that you feel most comfortable there wouldn't be such a need to feel like you have to defend yourself so much because you would feel like you have more of a support system you feel like you would have more of a support system there's something in that and then you also have the full coming out which in your blind spot just talks about faith and all that kind of stuff but in this particular deck in this deck this card isn't a, a full faith for me this is a foolish card right that i get impulsively sometimes you make like a little bit of impulsive decisions kind of like run run with the horses run for the hills a little bit as this guy actually has like a little what is it it's like a little hobo bag and he's like running literally he's off for the hills um that you tend to make foolish decisions sometimes you tend to make foolish decisions um out of a need to maybe try and like defend yourself again like keep yourself separate prove that like you're such an individual prove that like you're so independent from like everyone else right that like sometimes you like are walking away from things almost like new births new projects new friendships new communities new things that could actually like be really beneficial relationships conversation experiences that could actually grow you um teach you things right that impulsively you're like i don't need their friendship i don't need their help like i'm good over here right like not wanting to again in the student energy like almost like not wanting to learn from anyone else almost like a little bit of like a teenager like i know it all it's like a little bit of that right it's like well, i go my own path i'm like a fleetwood mac song and i go my own way and it's like yeah, yeah yeah but like there could be some people you could learn from bounce some ideas off of like that could really help you that could potentially like really help you right so there, there's something in that as well because as you see it's like it almost looks like he's walking more towards a moon to me than it is the sun so it's like you actually are walking away from um, potentially really good learning experiences for you and walking towards more uncertainty more uncertainty Ugh. 
I'm also noticing, your video might be a little long, that um, this butterfly in the cocoon, he's not like fully out, right? He's not fully transformed. So it's almost like trying to leave, it's trying to like leave before you get out of the birth canal. That's not fun imagery for anyone, but like that's how they're giving it to me right before you're like fully gestated, before you're fully gestated. You also have the two of swords. So again, there are some things that you are blinded to a little bit in this two of swords. Two of swords is typically being a little blinded, being a little defensive, being a little closed off. You might not feel like you're doing that, but cloaked in all of this yellow, right? It's like mono a mono, mono a mono. You might feel like you have um, like competition or like people are like out to get you. Like maybe there's like some of that energy. People are like waiting for you to fail a little bit. Um, but with all this yellow, and that's talking about, again, solar plexus, there's a lot of yellow going on. You might have an issue. Maybe you're having a belly ache, right? Um, and maybe you're thinking you're just like too much caffeine or too much sweets. So you need like a time. It's like almost like, and they're also giving me like heartburn. Something about like your, your, your like solar plexus, like having a stomach ache and also it going into like indigestion, indigestion, things that are hard to swallow, hard pills to swallow for you leading into like heartburn, something like that. It's for someone. Also, orange juice is bothering some of you. Some of you are drinking orange juice up so for someone. I'm sorry. Some of you are drinking orange juice and it's giving you heartburn. It's too acidic. You need to stop drinking that much orange. Water it down. They're saying water down your orange juice because it's too acidic. And it's giving you heartburn. Okay. I hope that was helpful to one of you. But this mono, this mono a mono, right? It's like your truth coming against someone else's truth. Again, like not allowing yourself to like have that almost intellectual exchange a little bit. Um, and this also talks about like ego battles because again, this is like your confidence, your creativity and your and your um your vitality as well in your solar plexus. So it's like, no, I'm confident that I know this. Like I'm confident that like this is the road to go down and someone else is like, yeah, yeah, but like I'm confident that this is the way to go down and there needs to be like a little bit more of like a, it's sword. So like a meeting of the minds, I mean, instead of like a head to head, it needs to be more of like a meeting of the minds that like really wants to be happening for you, but you're a little blocked off and defensive to it, right? And then you have the Ace of Pentacles too, which is really talks about um, practical application, which is kind of taking, kind of releasing some of these blockages, some of these impulsive tendencies that you may or may not, um, take it as it resonates, that you may or may not have towards incorporating other people's idea, kind of letting people in, letting more people in. It feels like you have certain people around you that are like your safe space, um, but then like outside of that, it's like no new friends. And it's like, maybe there's like, again, like a meeting of the minds, an exchange of ideas that wants to be happening with some, a broader, a broader group, like within some of these different spiritual communities. And maybe it's a few different ones, right? That will expand yourself, you expand your safe place. Thank you. Expand your safe place, which will give you a little bit more of that freedom to, to kind of have some more of that, like alchemy, right? Like get some new ideas in. Maybe they might challenge some of you, some of your, your pride and what you think, you know, right? You think, you know, but you have no idea. It's like the East true Hollywood story. But also in that, what's really beautiful is that you will have, like I said, uh, an increase in your territory of safe space. You won't have to feel so alone or so defensive um, or feel like you have to be so much on the offense because you'll also have like a lot more people that like do what you do and know what you know um, that are like there to back you up as well. So I just want to look like moving forward, like what's some advice? Like we kind of do the spiritual push up thing for you. Six of Swords. Accept the transition, accept the transition. What's beautiful about this is now you have two swords, right? It's like you have your like sword of your own personal truth, but now you're also incorporating someone else's swords, other people's ideas, right? Maybe this is a lot of collective energy and step by step, right? It's not like in a boat kind of making like big waves at once, step by step, moving over into like a calmer water out of this sort of more, more conflicting energy things that really ruffle your emotional feathers, moving into stuff where emotionally, again, it, it doesn't upset your pride or, or it doesn't trigger you so much to listen to other people or, or be vulnerable enough to like accept advice or, or contribution or support from, from other people as well, from other people as well. I just got Gullah Gullah Island. All right. <laughs> okay. Moving over here, and I saw I'm like, that looks like a little island. I heard Gullah Gullah Island. Whatever that means for some of you. Whatever that means for some of you. You also have the Five of Cups. So, Five of Cups can is feeling like a little bit regretful. It could be like a little remorseful that perhaps, like, I'm getting the impression that for some of you, some of you, uh, maybe in the past, people have like reached out 
to to look maybe look looking up to looking at you as like a little bit of a mentor or um looking for your support or something like that and perhaps like you didn't I'm, I'm almost getting like just like a brush you kind of like brush them to the side like thank you next sort of thing and i think maybe now you're feeling like a little bit remorseful or regretful about it that could be for some of you that could be part of a moving moving into a little bit of these smoother waters <clears throat> kind of going back and like kind of rebuilding some of these bridges for yourself um but I also think that some of the advice is not to again it is like an energy of like fun I think maybe it was Virgo that had like a little bit of incorporating some more levity like a little bit more fun right it's like you're a Scorpio so like you're like a you're you know you're like a Pisces you can go like deep deep in the depths but you know and a Scorpio is like not like super like high vibe necessarily but the three cups that you're knocking off this table one two three that's community that's fun that's joy that's like having a good time right like being able to be a little bit silly right so it's like part of like this homework of really helping you do this is again for somebody that doesn't want to be in like competition or conflict, it's like you're really knocking all the fun off the table, Scorp. And meanwhile, there's like some <laughs> back here. And it's like, um, wants to like come and like dump this little cup over your head, almost like like a like a practical joke. Like a practical joke a little bit. I think it was Virgo and it was like, or maybe it was Libra, and it was like no more monkeys jumping on the bed. And it was like intentionally, like energetically, like you're being poked like a little kid right like stop hitting yourself stop hitting yourself just to get you to like break up that energy like a little bit like a little bit there's also something about like um things sneaking up on you like don't be afraid to like have a little giggle sometimes right like like it's okay because if you get too stuck in that energy it's more likely that you can get that tunnel vision you can get that tunnel vision and then something can sneak up on you and like surprise you in a way that like might not be so nice because he's about to dump a cup of milk right over your head and you're not going to enjoy that i guarantee you so there is there is something in that temperance temperance balance 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 scorpio beautiful again you you go deeper you you dip when you dip i dip we dip scorpio but also come up for air like have a, have a little more fun, like, breathe a little life, not everyone's out to get you, most people, they're not, they're not trying to, like, prove you wrong, like, they just want to chat, like, just want to have an exchange of ideas, right, it's, like, almost like one of those, like, war rooms, and everybody's, like, well, I think about this, I think about that, what about this, and what about that, right, it's, like, it's supposed to be a little bit more like that, and the energy on this card, it's more of a wounded feminine, right, it's, like, your ability to, to receive support from your community, your, ability to receive advice receive new ideas like really incorporate those in the ace of rods is like being creative creative ideas it's like that brainstorming energy right sometimes we all go through our journeys like individually but like sometimes two heads are better than one sometimes three heads are better than two you don't know you don't know till you get down there beautiful at the bottom three of rods three of wands accept that help accept that leg up on your mission the three of wands is a mission card right i'm also hearing missionary it's for someone for someone right it's like um it, it, what you're trying to accomplish especially if it's in terms of like a community like doing some kind of group work it'll go by a lot easier and a lot faster and, and a lot more productively if you allow other people to like help you it, you know you can't you can't do a group project all by yourself it's frustrating have you ever tried i have it's miserable so let let somebody help you let you know let let a little love in it's gonna be all right. We are family. Now I'm hearing that song. We are fam. So <laughs> Scorpio, that's your reading for this week. I hope that this was helpful for you. I really do. Above all things, I want to be helpful and then quirky and strange. So hopefully I accomplish those things for you this week. I love you very much. Anything that you'll need from me will be in the description box. So the Patreon, the Instagram, my email um, for personals and for chit chats and all the decks that I use. This was a Tarot of the Old Path. In case you want to get it for yourself, if you made it all the way to this end of this 29 minute video, I really appreciate you. Until I see you next time, stay prayed up, stay blessed. I love you lots. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.